My name is Matthew Petrusik, and I'm an Associate Professor of Theological Ethics at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. And once again, thank you for spending this time with me today. So today's Gospel reading is, uh, consists of one of the, what's sometimes called the, the hard sayings of Jesus. Uh, we see here the, the, the sternness of Jesus and the austerity of Jesus. And it's important that we pretend that that's not there. So what does it say? Jesus passed through towns and villages, teaching as he went, making his way to Jerusalem. And someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? And he answered them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. And then he goes on to say that those who who say that they know Jesus, those that, that ate and drank with them, this is his response to them. He says, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers. And then the gospel reading ends, For behold, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. So, again, we do well as Christians to remember that this too comes from the mouth of our Lord. That we have to recognize that the path to salvation is indeed narrow. So, so how, can, how can we interpret this? What's exactly going on in this passage? Well, we have to remember here, of course, that the invitation to salvation, the, the, the openness to all people, that's universal. That's for everyone. The invitation is not narrow. The invitation is as wide as humanity itself. But the question is, is do we accept that invitation? And not only do we accept it in the sense of, yeah, sure, sounds good, an RSVP, yeah, okay, I'm going, but actually then do what it takes to walk the path in through the gate to salvation. And what Jesus warns us against in this passage, when he says, after the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then you will stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. And he will say to you and reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, we ate and we drank in your company and you taught us in our streets. And that's again when he says, depart from me. So, so what does that mean? I think it has something to do with this. That if we're just going to live our life as Christians saying, yeah, I'm a Christian, yeah, I'm a Catholic. Um, I, I, I identify as a Catholic and once in a while I, I talk about Jesus and, and once in a while I go to Mass and, and once in a while I pray, but really only when I need something, want something. But yeah, 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 I'm a Catholic. I think what Jesus is warning us against here is that's not following the narrow path into the kingdom. Right? This sort of casual relationship, hanging around Jesus when we feel like it, is the exact opposite of what we're called to do. We are called to strive, he says, every day of our life to be on that path, to follow that narrow path to where it leads. And so on the one hand, we can say, well, this is a harsh, a harsh parable or a harsh teaching of Jesus. On the other hand, we can say, you know what it teaches us is that we do have great freedom to follow that path but that great freedom corresponds with a great responsibility and it is up to us to accept God's offer of grace or not. It's up to us. So let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, please help us to remember that we are responsible for our own souls. Help us to be grateful for the invitation that you offer to all of us to enter into your kingdom and give us the strength and the perseverance and the courage not to throw that invitation away, but to do everything possible to live up to the glory of your call.